coach house, whatever you want to call it. We we'll pretty much have everything in it until we get the actual bathhouse and cabins up. So. We just uh, cut the last couple rafters that we needed for this little building. So hot off the mill. So we already had some cut, but due to a change, we ended up having to cut some more and we just split a couple of six by sixes to make some more three by sixes. So now we got enough. I'm gonna leave them there, bud. We're just gonna put them on the forks. I'll come get them. Mm -hmm. I'm on. I'll just come up with the forks. You can just slide them on. Step oh. over there, bud. So we already cut a template rafter, a uh, real simple way of doing it if you don't know how to use a speed square and it takes all the guesswork out of it. You don't have to worry about making a miscut or a mismeasurement. You make sure, come over here. You measure the distance from your ridge beam to your to your wall beam and you're going to measure from outside corner to outside corner both directions to make sure it's centered it's not like this it's not leaning so you're going to have two equal measurements once you have that established that measurement lay a template board across the top of those beams at an angle and then you're going to take and scribe your marks. And you just transpose your marks. So this is where your beam sits. It sits right, and this is not a very square block, but you'll get the idea. Imagine this is your beam. So right now, because this wouldn't be cut out, it would be sitting, this board would be sitting on it like so. So you take, place this against your beam like so and then you're going to strike a line. Then go ahead and use your framing square, and then you would lay this across the top of your beam the other direction, and then strike a line here. That will give you a perfectly transposed mark to create this, what we call a bird mouth. You repeat that process here and down there. This, we had to make a couple little corrective cuts to adjust, that's why it's not the prettiest but it works as our template. So the really critical thing is when you're using a template that you first off crown your joists, meaning find the hump in the top of your joist. So if you're looking down it, you'll see a hump. You want that up because gravity is gonna over time probably work it down. So go ahead and establish your crown crown is always up so then you put your template on your rafter and always make sure you flush it on the top side top side not the bottom side if you flush it on the bottom side because this board could be a varying width 
you will change the distance from the top of your rafter to your bird mouth or your seat cup. If you do that, when you get down and you look at all the top of your rafters, you're gonna have high ones and low ones and high ones and low ones because you use the wrong side of your control. So this is your control side. So you're gonna always flush that up. Once that's flush, like we are right now, we just come in here, strike marks. And he hails from the small town of Pahala, Hawaii. And I just want to give a shout out to Jafar. You're my homie. Aloha, brother. And I want to say hello to all the good people of the big island of Hawaii. What are you doing there, buddy? Tightening her up. What'd you got? This ridge beam had a big bow in it, so you just put a strap from there to here and suck it right over. Suck it over, and then, so how do we do it though? How do we start? You put all the fasteners in the bottom of these. There you go, so your the tails, fasteners. right? So yep. your bird mouth right there, I'll get better. There we go, so your bird mouth right here, your seat cut is nice and tight. So that way, the ridge was open. Those cuts, right? They weren't touching. Yep, they weren't touching. They weren't touching. So, then we go ahead, went ahead and got a two inch, Elliot got a two inch ratchet strap. And was able to suck that six by six straight. No problem. That ratchet strap's got a ton of power. Oh yeah. So especially the way you rigged it because you went around into itself, right? That really actually, I mean, you're losing some of the friction here and the friction there, but you're you're definitely increasing your pulling ability. So yeah. looking killer. Yeah, buddy. And as, you know, as wet as this wood was when we cut it in green and you know, the joints are still looking good. Our lap joints still look pretty fair. Everything's drying at a nice rate. Nothing's checking out of control because we have good humidity here. If this was in the high desert of Idaho, this stuff, you'd be able to put your, your hand like this into the cracks. You can put your fingers in the cracks. They open up that much. So, because it just dries too fast. You know, you got 10 and 20% humidity in the summer there with 90 to 110 degree heat.
I think so. Look at the layout. Yeah, it just flushed the outside of the post. I don't know if this roof will carry the snow load here in Missouri. I don't know. <laughs> I know. We're going to get this all on and then we're going to knee brace it and then take all the temporaries off. Come on. All right, buddy, get her up there. Last choice. Excuse me. <laughs> Last rafter going up. How oh, she fits. You want to lay out to that way a little bit? One more. Tap, 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 tap. Give a little tappy. That's about a half inch. Or tap a roo. Like more. I don't know where it's at, so I need to get out of it still. More, more. Ah, wait. More, holy crap. Oh my god, you're drunk. It's oh supposed to be on the other side. Oh, you're yeah. stupid. This way. <laughs> oh, like, oh, Lord. It's getting yeah. late. We're hot. Oh, we and we're getting stupider. That's close enough. Oh, did he I get mean, dumb? He yeah, he dumb. He dumb. He always dumb. He's still with you. We normally hire you from the neck up and your brother the neck down, but uh, you guys are changing position today. I have a lightning rod. I'll straighten it. <laughs> yes, I can see that. <laughs> it's all Zeus. Yes. All hail. Come on, Raptor Rat. Get it. I need other screws How did that fit there, little buddy? Amazing. <laughs> Good glove. Right there, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, oh. I got a whole new gun, bro. That's the baby gun. It's, it's got the big back. back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, is this what we're doing here now? Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can't, you catch like trimmers, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, get that thing in there, boy. Where am I going? Uh -huh. man when you're on the roof. Oh, the big fastener. Okay. Fix the new post. It's not falling off. No, Eureka. Let's get back. Let's see what we got here. Something to actually look at. I'm gonna try not to fall and biff yeah, it. Look at. Oh. Oh, Elliot. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, man. Okay. All right. 